All right, so this is my second soul winning tip, and my second soul winning tip is to actually explain what the gospel is, and not only to have certain steps that you use, you know, admit you're a sinner, you deserve hell because of your sins, Jesus made that payment, you accept that payment by faith, but actually explaining what Jesus did for them. And the Bible tells us what the gospel is in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. It says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. So the Bible says right there that the gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So don't leave that out of your presentation. And if you really want to keep people's attention, I would mention where Jesus went for those three days and three nights. The Bible says in Acts 2.31, he seeing this before, spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. And the reason I would teach this is twofold. Number one, most people haven't heard of it before, so it kind of catches them off guard. And number two, it really keeps people's attention because then they really realize how much God loved them. That he actually went to hell in their place for three days and three nights before rising from the dead. So I hope this was a helpful pointer. Uh, God bless everyone. Thank you.